-hmm. Honey, you are ready. If your wife ever asks you if she should bring sneakers to wear to the gym, because all she has is high heels, you respond with yes, Why very politely, me? and you just smile. So yes, honey, you should bring sneakers to the gym. Are you ready? Of course. Uh, of course she's ready. Actually, we're going to Makati. Even better. More, fa more fancy. Makati is a fancy Makati. version of Manila. You know, Makati is... Tagalog, English is itch. Itch? <laughs> That's okay. where there's a lot of itch there. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Honestly. No? No video. All right, Manila Airport, not my favorite airport, but also, whoop, looking at the wrong camera. Also not on my hate list either, but it's definitely not my favorite. Anyways, looking for the grab section so we can get picked up. Grab successful. We are now on our way to the hotel. Uh, fourth time is a charm. It only took four different grab attempts. Each one kept canceling before they would get here, and then we would see the license plate and drive by. <laughs> so I'm not sure what was going on, but either way, it didn't take too long. So now we're going to Itchy City. Where? Itchy. Itchy? Oh. Yeah, Makati is Itchy. Makati. Itch. <laughs> Sorry, Makati City. We're definitely in Makati now because it's starting to look nice and oh. fancy compared to where we just were. We are all checked into the hotel. Bathroom's a little small, but I mean, it has everything we need. It's not like I like to spend a lot of time in there. Uh, actually, it has a nice little kitchen area, which I'm really happy with, so I can make my protein shake every morning and a table for my laptop. And a Filipina. That didn't come with the room. That was 10 times more than the hotel you room. Wished. But so you couch, bed, everything Hi, guys. Need. Welcome to Etchy City. <laughs> We're in Makati. We're in Makati. She's going to confuse everyone. Like when she started calling herself Tracy for a couple episodes. <laughs> All right, we are checked into the hotel. We are really liking this location because it's really well situated, really nice and safe area. So now we're going to go check out the city. Doesn't feel like the Philippines is crosswalks. Well, so far I really like Makati. I mean, I don't know if I would say that I would uh, live here because I'm not really a big city kind of person, or at least bigger cities like this. But all in all, I can understand why there's so many foreigners here and why so many people speak highly about it because it's very clean and well organized. I mean, it's hard to believe it's a Philippine city and I don't mean that insulting, but uh, actually seeing tunnels going underneath the road for, for people walking and nice sidewalks and pedestrian signs and everything else and yeah. Yeah, this is like the for business. Yeah, business work. So people come here only to work for work. Well, I already really like the city because the movie I've been trying to see for the last, what, four weeks in Dumaguete, they haven't played once. They've had a sign out front of the movie theater saying, now showing, and it would show the beekeeper, but they haven't played it. True. So, anyways, I'm pretty happy because I checked, and it's playing right down the street, and luckily, because we're in a good-sized city, they have Grab, which they do not have in the province. So, 120 peso? Whatever, so we're getting a ride over there. 120 peso, like $2, so I can't complain. <coughs> Very happy about that. Yep, of course. And you know what this of means, course. if she gets a dinner and a movie. Honey, you ready? Of course! Let's go, guys. You wanna... Oh, let's go, honey. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, we can't actually bring the camera to the movie theater because they will kick us out for that. So, oh. don't throw your stuff I, at me. Do I need to bring my wallet? 
Yeah. Yeah, you're paying. Huh? I'm not paying for your movie. She's crazy. Yeah, you have guard here, so it's okay. I have to say, both of us are extremely impressed with this mall. Granted, I'm recording this on my cell phone because we went here to go to the movie, so we weren't bringing any camera gear. However, I'm just shocked at how nice Ayala Mall is in Bacati. It's a... Uh, it, it's just... It's very impressive to see. I actually like it a lot more than the mall in Cebu, which, I mean, again, I'm not like a big mall guy, but as far as having every restaurant available with a really big movie theater, very happy, and I love the scenery around here. All right, the movie was amazing. We left Ayala Mall. Now we found Oma, Japanese restaurant. We're getting some sushi, and it looks just so beautiful. I almost don't want to touch it, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat it. Good, honey. I had to get out of her way before she ate my hand. Good morning, everyone. We got up, not 100% awake yet, but we are heading off to the gym so we can get our workout in, go enjoy our breakfast, and then we'll go for a walk afterwards so we can keep exploring the city. Um, gym, or we have to change? I don't care. We can walk the way we're dressed. I mean, we're in workout clothes, so. <laughs> I'm not wearing a sports bra. I'm pretty comfortable. Right? Comfortable? I'm so comfortable. Even. Comfortable. What? What? Okay, let's go. Just want to go on record saying I don't like to assume anything or make assumptions in life. However, that being said, when you pay $1 for a Nike t shirt and the emblem falls off, good chance is a replica. I'm not saying, you know, positive. I can't confirm or prove it, but there's a good chance that it's a replica. Pool area is nice at this hotel. I mean, we're not gonna go swimming right now at 8.30 in the morning, but all in all, I like it. Okay, we are starving, and I don't wanna sit here and talk inside of a crowded restaurant, but uh, we're very hungry, so we're gonna eat now after our workout. Honey, you ready? Of course, I'm ready to eat. But you're always ready to eat. <laughs> of course. Food why looks not, very good, though. Why not ready? Should be always ready. Hey everyone, good morning. Uh, good news, bad news. Or you know what, bad news first. My gimbal died, so it doesn't work at all. And we have a lot of plans, so that kind of, well, that's not good. Anyways, good news though, we're in Makati, so we went to a repair shop. More bad news, they cannot repair the gimbal. So, <laughs> uh, more good news. We're go no, it's a good news. We're going to Hong Kong because of that. Oh yeah, they will repair it in Hong Kong. However, they can't repair it here because the battery is internal. But anyways, at least there's a DJI here. So I went to DJI, I bought another gimbal so I can send mine in, because they told me it's gonna take months to repair along with the shipping, and I can't not have the gimbal for months, so either way, I replaced the gimbal. So, bad news, good news. So anyways. Yep, that's, it's okay. Yep. Life always has bad. Yep. It's good. I'm gonna go on record saying we do not know our way around the city at all whatsoever. We actually started over at that corner. We went underneath the, the street, walked across, went underneath another street, walked over there, found a sign, apparently went in a big letter eight, and now we're back to where we started across the street from where we were.
Honey, you have to pee? Oh yeah, I need to pee. Okay. Have... Okay, let's go back. This is the friends I have already. My body needs this. Need to go away. And yeah, what's the name of it? Ayala Triangle Gardens? Yep. Well, like I was saying, all in all, I mean, I, I wouldn't live here because I'm not like a big city person or large kind of city person, but this is very professional and very nice city. Very clean, very organized. It's honestly hard to say that this is the Philippines. It, and I say that very respectfully because I love the Philippines, but normally the cities are a little chaotic and cluttered and not so organized. But this one is, this one is different. So. Um, capital business. Business capital in the Philippines? Business capital of the Philippines? I believe so. I'd have to Google it. I could be wrong. Someone can jump in and correct us. District, whatever. And I do want to add that this gimbal is heavier than the other one with the camera. So this is, uh, this is a good workout. Heavier than me? Almost. <laughs> Almost heavier than you. <laughs> We are walking back to the hotel now. It is almost 1 p.m. Not that that's late, but we've been walking around all day, really enjoying it. Again, really impressed by the city. I don't know what to say. According to Google, it's 650,000 for a population, 630. Again, don't, don't quote me. I'm not an expert. I'm not gonna walk around and count everyone, but that's what it's saying on the internet anyways. Obviously, Manila has millions, but and this is connected to Manila, but Either way, it's definitely a different part, but we're really enjoying it. I'm just very impressed. I don't know what to say. Speechless. Oh. Yep, it's recording. All right, well, thank you for watching, everyone. We've had a wonderful week here in Makati. It's, it's too much to show. As much as I would love to show you everything, it would be a two hour long vlog and it still wouldn't cover half the city because it's just it's so big so i try to show you guys as much as i can about the highlights and things you want to see and reasons why you'd want to visit it but as far as showing you everything every, every time we go and explore a new city and we show it someone says oh you got to go to this park you got to try that restaurant you got to go here and i and i love the advice i write it down so we can go back we can check it out but uh we've probably walked by 3,000 restaurants so I mean we, we can't go to all of them but either way we've had a wonderful week here it's it doesn't feel like it's the Philippines though honestly and, and I'm not complaining about the Philippines because I love it I love living here uh, but it's a nice place to travel to and explore and see but we're looking forward to going back to our our simpler life in the province uh, where we live we see scooter dealerships everywhere and then when you get into the nice part of the city, you have like Nissan and Toyota, which is really fancy. Over here, we passed uh, a Porsche and a Lamborghini dealership today, which we don't normally see in the Philippines. So it's um, a different part of the Philippines, but it was great to visit. Yeah, I like it here. Surrounded with professionals, it's, it's different. Yeah, everyone's very professional, classy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying everyone's classy, but even the vehicle selection i haven't seen anything old the oldest thing i've seen is like the cabs so it's just uh it's nice it's, it's a good good place to come and visit we're glad we checked it out but and it's expensive yeah yeah no no it's definitely expensive everything we've bought is five times the price that we're normally spending so i can understand why when we go over cost of living people in makati will jump in and say well this is what i spent and i get it it makes perfect sense but either way we would definitely come back to visit again and I'd recommend it, but it's not a place we want to live, but we enjoyed it here. So, yep. so see you guys in the next video. It's evening here. It's 10 or 4. So yes. We're going to sleep soon. We're tired walking. It's yep. Cool. The whole reason why we uh, went to Makati will be in tomorrow's video. So that's a whole different topic, which is why we wanted to end it tonight before we get into tomorrow's video. So anyways, thank you for watching. Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>